Hey guys, if you didn't see the build video of this plane, you can go check it out in my channel or I'll link it in the description below. It was the previous, um, my previous video and it was pretty cool. I took the Titanic apart and this is the wings from it. So I made this canard airplane. So hopefully it flies. The goal of this plane was to strip down as much weight as I could from it and make it light as possible so I can get lighter wing loading so that it'll maybe fly better. And then my other main thing was to get the center of gravity correct. So I pulled up a center of gravity calculator and here it is. Okay, so I have a canard center of gravity calculator here. So I put in all my information for my canard and you can see right there is the neutral point. So it's saying that my neutral point needs to be at 16 inches. So if we look at my plane over here, we see 16 inches on the left. It's about right So we need to get our center of gravity in front of right there. So I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna probably put some weight in front of on this canard right here to get that center of gravity moved forward and we can get out and fly it. So let's get to it. No way. No way. There we go. <laughs> I'll bring it over here. There you go. No way. It's flying. It's a little elevator. I think it is. Doing great. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Doing great. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We can just glue it back together. Wow, that, um, that did a good job on it. <laughs> yeah, you see how steep it went down? What happened? Yeah, I know. I, I lost control on the on this, this stunt thing. Yeah. It'd get lost control, but we can glue it back together. If you F-18, you'd be dead. <laughs> or you'd be ejected. So as you guys hopefully saw there, it flew, and it flew great. So the elevator on the front wasn't giving me as much control as I wish it would. I kind of turned down the throw because I thought it was like, there was way too much throw. So I'm gonna turn, fix it up, turn that back up, and we should be good for another flight. My center of gravity was way behind what it, the center of gravity calculator said online. So I don't know what's all up with that, but we're gonna fix it up and we're gonna go test it out again. So let's get it fixed up in three, two, one. Wow. So we got it all fixed up and it's looking awesome. So I ended up putting a bigger servo on the front up here and I adjusted the throws in the controller and our center of gravity is looking about right here, which seems kind of crazy, but we're gonna give that a shot because I think that's where about the center of gravity was when we did the glide test. So that should fly all right. So let's go give it a try. Oh, hi there. If you guys are liking this video, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel so you can follow more of my videos. You say you will, but then you don't. That's how it goes. Don't let it know. I'm turning off my mind so I get by. I just want to be happy. Well, then nose heavy, actually. I think it is. It's pitching down at the time. I have full back elevator. Or full trail, I mean. Oh, it's looking awesome though. It's so cool. I'm gonna roll it. 
<laughs> oh, I can. <laughs> Wow, see how much elevator authority it has? Like a ton. I'm on my lowest setting right now. I'm gonna try to do a roll. Let me go up a little bit. <laughs> great. <It's> great. <laughs> it's flying like a champ. Dead. So I can get her back over here. Beautiful. So that actually worked very well. I don't think there's really anything I would do to make it better. I might actually move the center of gravity backwards a little bit because I think it was a little bit nose heavy. I had my trim all the way down and the it was still um, nosing down on its own. So I'm gonna move the center of gravity backwards just a hair and we can give it another flight. Actually, I have a battery right here. So let's, let's try that. Okay guys, let's give it another flight. Recorder throttle. If you guys are watching this video, go check out my channel where you can find more great projects from RC cars, planes, boats, hovercrafts, and 3D printing. Let's get back to it. Yeah, this thing flies great, just slow like this. Working the throttle. Man, this thing's flying so slow. You could almost fly this in a gymnasium. This thing's going great. That's all my that's all I got. I'm gonna land it. That was beautiful. Wow, I can't I can't be happier than that. Guys, this is awesome. Guys, I literally could not be happier with that flight. That worked awesome. If you guys liked this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel so you can follow more of my amazing builds like this one. I'm just so, so happy with this. So I had this battery taped to the bottom of it like this on the front. So that moved the center of gravity a little bit more forward. But for that last play, I actually took that battery off. And I'll tell you where the center of gravity ended up being. So the center of gravity ended up balancing out about right here, as you can see. So it's about this point right here where my fingers are and um, it flew great. So I would say like, if you're trying to build this, um, just trying to keep your center of gravity towards the center of the plane and like, it should fly great. So the question of the day is why didn't the Titanic fly? And honestly, I have no idea. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below and let us all know because um, I'm very curious what you guys' thoughts are. So thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. Bye.